Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Today I'm going to share some new settings of After Effects and Topaz which will help you to achieve this quality which is really nice and really crisp and sharp. You can see the side by side comparison here. And please subscribe my channel also before starting. So guys, today's video is sponsored by 4TD Video Repair Video Enhancer. This is a really amazing video enhancer, you just need to download it from the description. Here we have a user interface which is really nice. We also have the video enhancer and photo enhancer here. So let's enhance our clip. We have three AI models here. Anime model, general model and face model. First of all, let's check the general model. It's completed. Now you can check the results, it's really nice. You can also enhance your anime clips with it, which is really good. So download the 4D Dig Video Enhancer video repair from the game link in the description. Okay, back to the video. As I told in the last video, we need to export our video in lossless. But before that, I added some curves to get a little bit more exposure. You can add it or you can leave it, it's your choice. And let's export our video at lossless, let me name it. And uh, yes, we can name it this. And as you can see, my setting is on lossless and let's render it. And it's almost done. After that, let's move to the topaz. Let's open it and our drag and drop our video. Once we open our video, copy my settings here. You can see it's our raw clip. So let's start the settings. For the resolution, we will always choose 2x and for the FPS, always 60. The frame resolution AI will be on Coronos Fast, which is the best. And the parameter will be set it to manual and you guys need to copy my settings here. The retrieve compression will be on 70. I think that's enough. Yep. Please copy my setting as it is to get the maximum results. The sharp one will be on 40, the noise will be on 30, reduce noise, maybe 20, 25 is enough, yep. The D hollow will be on 20 and the anti lies will be on minus 30, e or minus 40, yes, that's enough. And for the encoder, we will use the ProRes 244HQ. You can also use the LT, but HQ is recommended, so please use it and click on export that it process you can see it has a really nice quality you can see the before and after the quality is so nice already the processing is done you can see the before and after okay let's move to the after effect of after this Okay, once we are in After Effects, let's make an adjustment layer. And first we will add our effect which is S Sharpen from Sapphire. Here you need, guys need to copy my settings. For the Sharpen Amp, we will use 0.5. And for the small details, we can use 4. And after that, we will choose set the Sharpen Luma to 0.5 also. And you will try and the small detail up to 5 if you want after that we have to add the BBC unsharp mask once it, it's added let's customize this also the amount will be 10 and the radius will be 10 also yes there's enough let me show the before and after. You can see there is a huge difference. After that we will add the instant 4K. Which will give a pure 4K quality to our clip. The true 4K quality. The sharpen will be on 5. The quality will be maximum which is 25. And the anti lasting will be also 10. You can see it's make a difference. Also you can add the FXAA. It's a free plugin. It will make your, make your edges smooth. And after that, we will add our looks, the matching bullet looks. Let's edit it. And you guys copy me here. Just add the effects which will I add here. 
the spot exposure we need the lot and also we need the crystria which will add after just copy me here i will give this cc in my description also so don't worry just see the process i'm also down here let's add the color history also and uh, adjust our colors a little bit the output is so nice i hope you guys love it and we are all, almost done as you can see the quality this is the before and this is the after it's make a huge difference just amazing after that we will export our video so i'm going to show my export settings here we will use the media encoder for export video let it open and you guys need to follow me here let's name it cc and save it and here you guys don't need to copy my setting enable the option which i will i do follow me and the uh, bitrate encoding i will use cbr which is the best and for the 4k clips i will always use 80 bitrate which is the best for the social media you like youtube tiktok and instagram 80 bitrate is the best i think once if it's export let's check the results after exporting you will get something like this so i hope you guys like the video and subscribe it also i will give this cc also and free of the cost and also download the 40 day video enhancer to get the amazing quality also so please stay tuned and wait for the next video bye bye